Hello and welcome to Prank. I am Muhammad Adnan. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the difference between all, all except, all selected DAX functions in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. All. All function returns all rows in a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied that's the definition in simple it returns all the rows of a table of a column it do not bother about any filters which is applied on that page okay the syntax is all bracket either need to put the table name or the column name examples are all open and first bracket removes all filter everywhere but this can only be used to clear the filter but not to return a table the next one is all bracket table name or you can put the table with the column name all except this removes all the context filters in a table except the filters that have been applied to a specific column in short if you have multiple filters in a column and to get a value you want to remove all the filters but you want to keep one filter in that column in that case this function will be very, very much helpful for you so that you can mention all except the table name and in this column you want to retain the filter okay the syntax is all except one bracket table name comma the column name to which you want to retain the filter the example is all except open bracket the table name comma column name to which you want to keep the filter the next one is all selected this removes contact filter from columns and rows in current query while retaining all other contact filters or escape filters in short to return you the value only for the things which are selected in that page it is all selected either you need to put the table name or the column name example is all selected the table name order or all selected the table with the column name order senses so this is the theory now let's go into the practical situation where i will show you how the how actually it works in this i have written three dax function that is all all except all selected and i have set two additional slicer for region and for segment if you see this I will show you the back function all function I'm returning sum of x all order that is the table I'm returning all the tables of the order and in that I'm just summing up the same value The next one is all access. This formula looks like calculate sum of order of the sales sum of all steps the column of region. In the slicer, I have kept two slices region and segment, where I am just mentioning the region for this one. It means it will keep the filter of region. I mean, it will consider the it will consider the filter of region to get the sum of value, but it will not check for the segment. Okay. The next one is all select sum of x all selected 
with the table name order and the column name sum of state. So let this into the value here. I'm just filtering the central value. If you see this value, it is 2.3 million for every KPU. I am just selecting the central here. You see that there are all the same 2.3 million and all accept and all selected the value are reduced to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 million. If you select again the consumer, look at the value, they all accept keep the value because we have applied all accept function only for region, not for the segment. Whereas in all selected, the central has been selected here in region and consumer has been selected in segment. So all function filters both of the values. If I select again corporate, it just increase only in all selected area. If I select south region as well, it increase both of them all selected and all accept. So this is the difference between all, all accept and all selected. Hope I have explained you in short clearly about the difference between all, all accept and all selected. If you like this video, please click on the big thumbs up button and share with your friends. If you have any queries, comments and feedback, please comment below. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. But make sure you turn on the notification on your device. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.